In this video, I will talk about example of killing vector field. Now I will show in this manifold. So this is R four eta a b. Then the eta a b is the metric field of the Minkowski space. Then eta a b can be right as this one. E nu a, e nu b. So we I'm using in uh, abstract notation. So this is mean if we use a b is mean uh, this is a tensor field or or in this case is a metric field. And if we use in mu nu, this is mean the component of this tensor field. Is uh, a component is mean if we we change to another basis then the component will uh, become another but the tensor is remain the same is the same same tensor okay so the next is how we find the Killing vector field in this uh, manifold. So let's talk about a theorem. And this theorem is quite important to find uh, the Killing vector field. This theorem is say, if we have a uh, given a uh, maybe a manifold with the uh, GAB, then if there exists. A uh, coordinate system. Okay, coordinate system. Maybe it's x mu. In this manifold, such that if we can, so we can expand in the uh, this metric field into uh, this coordinate system. So right. So if we have uh, this relation, partial x partial x mu to x one, as equals to zero, that is means partial partial x one is a kidding vector field. Okay, so partial partial x one is one of basis of this coordinate system okay so given a so if we given a metric field then if there has this relation we can say this is a kilometer field okay so in our example okay so we our example the line element by this coordinate system What's this by by this coordinate system? Then the line element can be right like this one plus d z square. Okay, so as we can see, this the uh, metric will become minus one and zero one zero 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 one so if we choose a one of oh sorry so if we choose the first coordinate basis and this should be partial t and it obviously is zero so the partial partial t a is a <coughs> killing vector field so by the same process uh, we can find partial partial x a partial partial y a and partial partial z a are all the killing vector are killing 
better feel. So, we find a four kilometer field, and this kind of kilometer field has a name, it's called the translation kilometer field. Then, in this manifold, we have 10 kilometer field, so we already find the four. Then, there has a six kilometer field not find yet. So, and how we find it is we can change the change the coordinate system to another coordinate system. So if we change the coordinate system from x, y, z to t, r, c, t, phi, and we the spatial parts we change to a spherical coordinate, then the uh, in this. In this one coordinate system, the line element becomes as t squared plus dr squared plus r squared. This theta squared plus r squared sine theta d phi squared. So, uh, in this uh, metric, in this metric field, will become component of the metric field will become minus one zero zero one zero zero r square r square sine okay so we can find the partial t still a kilometer field so this is in a count then we, we don't count it this one more time then we can find the partial partial phi a is also a Killing better field. So that's because partial equals zero. Then uh, what about another? Is oh, this should be is if we use this uh kidney matter field expanding the all expand to the all coordinate system and it becomes minus y partial partial x a plus x partial partial y a and this is mean this vector is rotated along the x axis and not a, along the z axis so which means we have another two is maybe a partial z partial z plus z partial partial x a and this one is rotated along the y axis and uh, we have a this one and this one is rotates along the z axis okay <clears throat> so we find the three kilometer field and this three kilometer field are called these three kilometers here are called rotation kidding vector field. Okay, so 10 minus 4 minus 3 is equal to 3. So we have three kilometer field, not fine yet. And this kilometer field, by the same process, we need to change the coordinate system. So for example, for example, if in 2D Tx, we can change the coordinate system to maybe phi eta. And how we change it, it's like a coordinate. It's, it's like a, a previous, uh, we can change it as following. Let's 
as Fais Kosai as Kosai Koch Eta and T becomes Singh Eta. In this kind of uh, coordinate system, the line element will become the eta square minus eta square the anan eta precise square plus d eta square. Okay, so we can we can see the partial partial eta a is a kidding vector field okay in this coordinate system so we can ex expand in this vector to odd coordinate system and it becomes the partial partial x a plus x partial partial t a so and this this is the one of killing vector field and this is like a previous one a rotation but not a minus here okay so this is we call a boost so in four dimensional we change it to maybe psi eta and theta and phi okay then we can find the uh, all of the kidding vector field are one of is x plus t a plus t partial partial uh, x okay and uh, this is one of this is like we wrote uh, like a rotation but uh, it's a it's a pursuit rotation so we we call the boost and another one is y partial partial t a plus t y a and the final one you may guess it's oh t plus t partial partial c a they all are called a boost so those uh kidding vector field are called a boost kidding vector field so Usually we uh, heard is this is called a boost. So this is a boost kissing killing vector field. So in here we find the uh, all of the killing vector field in R four is A B. So we are find the uh, all kidden vector field on this manifold. And uh, this is how we find the uh, kidden vector field. Uh, in uh, this is how we find the kidden vector field. So this is how to find the kidden vector field. Maybe in this coordinate system. In the next video uh we we'll, I will talk about the boost killing vector field R a boost killing vector field are uh, equals or equivalent to the coordinate transformation. They are actually the same but a different point view. Okay. So using a killing boost killing vector field can derive the Rowland's coordinate transformation. So this I will put uh 
this in next video. So thanks.